Boys and girls, and welcome to Garden Guitar. We have a very cool song, very very cool for Rai X. It's called "You." It's featuring Hernando uh, Gutierrez, I believe that's the name. So, a uh, very strong, powerful song from Rai X. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, we had the capo set high up on the seventh fret because we want the high notes needed for the melody, which is uh, the meat and potatoes of this song. And that's pretty much what we're gonna emphasize on the melody. And uh, we're also gonna look at the easy strumming pattern that works for this as well. So that's the reason for having Cape on 7th. We want easy chords and also to match up with the sound. Let's do that together. And let's take a look at the chords needed for the song. So we have one chord pressure that goes in the same way through the entire song. That will be A minor to G to F and back to G. Okay, so that's what's going on. Let's take a look at A minor. And when we're gonna play the strumming later, we're gonna use the full A minor chord. Okay, and it will be a little bit simpler when it comes to picking pattern, but we'll come to that first, the full chord, and it goes open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. The G chord is not our usual G. It will go and look like this, even for strumming. So that will be to play what I do here, my ring finger on the third fret E string, and then I'm muting the next string with that finger. I'll just lean my ring finger on top of the A, so that gets muted, and then open D, second G, first B, and open E. That's G, grip, chord. And then finally we have the F, and that is actually an F major major seven so it goes third on D second on G first B and open E and there you have the three different chords we're gonna go back to G then so we have a minor G F and then back to G now let's take a look at the melody so I suggest you play like this uh, almost yeah it's glued to uh, the second fret G string your mid finger and your index on the first fret B, okay? So that's the main grip of the song, and then you're gonna, just gonna switch bass notes around that, all right? So A minor, you're gonna play this part. Okay, so that is to play open A, second G, first B, open high E, third B, I reach out that with my little ring finger, then second G, then I go to first B, and second G, and that is one round. Okay, you're going to play four rounds of that A minor, so... Okay, 
then you're gonna play G part next and you know now it's just to switch the bass note so instead of playing open A as a first note you're now gonna play the third fret E string everything else is the same so that gives us for one round okay you're gonna play that for four rounds as well so And then we have the F pattern. Again, everything is the same, just you switch out the bass note. Now you found it on the third fret D string. So that gives us for one round. You're gonna play for four rounds as well. So with the third fret D string as a new bass, it will sound like this. And then you go back to play G again for four rounds, the same pattern. Okay, so that is the main part of the song. A minor four, G four, F four, and back to G four. I'm gonna give you one or maybe two rounds. Let's see. two rounds of that all right so that is how you play the main part of this song and just to mention it perhaps you understand it as well but uh, I use uh, to reach out to the third fret B string here on the A minor grip I use my my uh, ring finger there but then this ring finger is locked to the other bass notes on the G for instance you need to keep that so what I do here I use my little pinky to reach out on the third fret B string that's how I do it okay I think it's better than for you to re release that and work up and down like this it will be a little bit messy there so I keep that locked in for the chord and then I use my little thing, uh, pinky there to you to get the third fret B string all right some technical stuff there that's that now into the strumming and of course it follows the same chord progression uh, A minor G F and G now you use the full A minor chord and one string around will be down up down up clap up down up that replaces one melody round so that means you're going to play four of these as well so down up down up clap up down up so down up times two and then comes the clap and up down up that's one string around so that gives us a minor four g4 f4 g4 and it sounds like this So there you have both melody and strumming, Rai X and Gutierrez U. All right. Hope you appreciate this one. And if you did, feel free to support me here on Goring Guitar. Show me some love back. I work a lot for you to get uh, great songs out there. So uh, yeah, show me some thumbs up or maybe subscribe to this channel and you make my day. Thank you so much. And until next time, play tuned.